In this problem, we're told the approximate volume of the granite monolith known as El Capitan in Yosemite National Park is about 10 to the 8th meters cubed. What is its approximate mass? So before we solve this, let's write down what we're given. So what they're giving us here is the volume, and they tell us the volume is equal to 10 to the 8th meters cubed. So we're given the volume, and what do they want us to find? They want us to solve for m. So how do we go about doing that? So in order to solve this, there's a formula you should know, which is rho, which is just uh, which is a Greek letter, it kind of looks like a P right here, is equal to mv. And so what this formula is, essentially it's the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. Right, so this just uh, relates these variables. You can just write d if you want, but this is the symbol we use for density, which is just rho, it's a Greek letter. And so keep in mind what we're trying to solve for here. We're trying to solve for the mass, right? And we're given the volume, and we're not given the density directly, but if you look in one of the tables in your textbook, it should give it to you, right? So rho is going to be equal to, if you look in your textbook, uh, it's going to be the density of granite, right? Because the object, or what this is made out of, is granite, right? So granite's density is 2.7 times 10 to the 3 kilogram meters cubed, right? So this is going to be the density of granite. And so now you realize we have rho, we have volume, and we can solve for mass. But what we have to do is manipulate this first. So if you multiply both sides by V, you're going to get M is equal to the uh, volume multiplied by the density, right? So all we have to do is plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. So you know the volume is 10 to the 8th meters cubed and then the density is going to be 2.7 times 10 to the 3 kilogram meters cubed, right? You can write it like this. And what you should realize is that the meters cubes are going to cancel. And so you're just going to have it in kilograms, and that's the units for mass. And so if we just do this 10.8, we can just add it on here. So the mass is just going to be 2.7 times 10 to the, and then 3 plus the 11, right? or sorry, 3 plus the 8 is going to become 11. So 2.7 times 10 to the 11 uh, kg, right, kilograms. So this right here is going to be uh, the answer to your problem, right? So 2.7 times 10 to the 11 kilograms, that's going to be the approximate um, uh, mass, right? So the approximate mass of Alcabi 10. But yeah, hopefully you found this useful.